Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman and I'm so excited to bring to you today our 2024 forecast for the year. This is a combination channeled forecast of spiritual teachings that give us sort of the basis for the quality of time in the year ahead and, and our own awareness. And then we also have I don't know the trend report, which is the channeled information that tells us specifically what things are going to be coming around and being more important in the coming year. Because this uh, reports a bit longer than usual, um, I was excited. I received a lot of information, so I've divided it into three parts. So this is part one, which is the channeled teachings for the year that give us sort of the general vibe or the uh, general kind of like our own awareness and what that's going to be like in the coming year and sort of things to watch out for. Then when you go to part two, you'll get the, the trend report part of that. And then when you go to part three, because it was so long, I divvied it up. So anyway, I hope you really enjoy this report. Um, I always love to check back and look at the accuracy. I've been doing this report for quite some time now, many years, many, many years, and I always love to see the accuracy. That's a fun thing for me to just notice. Um, I'm Sarah Wiseman. I'm at sarahwiseman.com. Um, for those of you who normally get this via an email reminder, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing things differently and email may not be working or coming around the same as it was uh, subscribing. There's a button somewhere down there uh, is the best way. Okay, here we go. So 2024, a year of accelerated awakening. Everything is changing and this is a good thing. Change is showing up so loud and clear with such force and fervor that you are no longer able to deny it. Open your eyes, let yourself see what is actually happening. Admit to yourself and to one another, everything is changing. Just saying this will help. Reality has shifted. All reality is created by awareness as your awareness has changed, so has your reality. Do you notice that your memories are hazy now, a wispy, unreal place it's hard to return to? Who are you? Who were we? What happened? Do you notice that you can't remember? This is different. We used to be able to remember so clearly, and now suddenly different. Almost like the past is flittering away because it, it is. We're no longer grasping in the way that we used to. The past is gone. It is tremendously beneficial for you to stop trying to live in the past. What happened before is a closed door. That state of consciousness is complete. You will no longer have to attend to that old suffering in real life or in memory. Indeed, you cannot experience that old trauma in this new cycle. You cannot experience that old trauma in this new cycle. It's great news. The good old days that were not good are not coming back, and this is of great benefit to all. The new dream. This idea of time speeding up of everything accelerating, of things moving too fast. This is how it feels when consciousness is awakening. Humanity is evolving so quickly. You feel this in your own self. You feel this in the collective. You can't quite put your finger on it, but everything is suddenly different. You are all waking up from the old dream, but the new reality also seems like a dream. You will get used to this new awareness. You are dreaming a new dream all together as a collective. 
you are getting used to your new awareness. Distractions don't work. Your old self has become spiritual, which is why old, old distractions don't work. There's a sense of destabilization, confusion. You keep going back to the old distractions, old thought loops, old habits, old addictions, but you find they're no longer interesting and no longer make you feel better. You have expanded and your expansion can't be supported by the old ways. They don't work. Even old style religion or new style spiritual practice, the old superstitions, the new superstitions, these aren't working either. You're elevating and that continues. Let go of how you used to be. Whoa. <laughs> and finally, everything is new. I mean, this is, these themes are pretty clear. Like there's a lot of change. We can't hold to the path. Like this is a pretty directive channeling for this new time frame, different than we've been experiencing before. Everything is new. In this new cycle, you have not experienced anything before. You are in an active state of human evolution. You do not know what to do or how to act or what to think about because you have not had these experiences before. You can't rely on how you used to do things or feel about things because the old rules no longer apply. For some of you, this may be frightening. For others, it's exhilarating. It's as if you've landed on a new planet with new ways and ideas. Be curious, see what you can learn. And this is the channeling for 2024. And goodness, when I look back at this, uh, I'm just gonna read the headers. Reality has shifted, the past is gone, dreaming a new dream, distractions don't work and everything is new. And this really points to, um, yeah, just stepping into a new way of being. It reminds me, um, you know, long, long, long ago, I remember having to move from, I've told this before, I remember having to move from kindergarten to first grade. And at the little school I went to in Seattle, kindergarten, we had cubbies. First grade, we had lockers. And um, I actually only did kindergarten part of the year and I got moved into first grade. So it was doubly scary. Like it wasn't like a normal tra transition with everybody. It was just like being moved into this new group. And so something about this idea of the lockers, like what if I lock my locker wrong or what if I can't get into my locker, or I can't open my locker, or I can't find my locker, just like lockers, lockers. It was just like this big drama for me making this transition. And of course you get into first grade and you're there a couple weeks and, and, and lockers are easy, it's no big deal. And so I think this sort of speaks to that idea of, we are going into a whole new, a whole new thing. We, we've been being told this for a while. And like, okay, it's happening. <laughs> Go get your locker. Um, so this old stuff, like the old ways we've been thinking about stuff and the old, maybe the old relationships, the old habits, the old way our thoughts are looping around, thinking about the same people and the same things and the same memories, like the more you can just clear the deck and really approach with open curiosity what's coming, I think the better off you'll be. Especially um, a lot of us who are, you know, this age, we are holding positions of me being mentoring or leading or assisting or having been through stuff and, and knowing how to advise. And, and this tends to lead to sort of having a, because we have experience, we have a lot of answers that have worked in the past. And what this is pretty directly saying is, 
let go of that idea that just because you had the answers in the past or just because you knew how to advise people in the past or just because you were the helper for you know the family or just because you were the caretaker or or um just because you were holding any particular role just let go of that um just because the past was a certain way let go of that there's a very direct part that says um you will no longer have to attend to that old suffering in real life or in memory Indeed, you cannot experience that old trauma in this new cycle. And this isn't because we've just won the good luck charm, like, oh, no more, no more trauma. This is really about awareness creating change. Because our awareness has shifted, we move into a different reality where it's different for everyone who allows their awareness to shift. Um, you go into this different dimensionality where where life situation is different. So um, I send you uh, best wishes for this new year. Again, this is part one, the channel teaching part two and part three are the specific trends that you want to watch for and they're coming up next. So thank you, everyone. You'll find me at sarahwiseman.com. Please subscribe if down below. And I look forward to being with you next time. Thank you.